Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And today in this video, what we're going to talk about is what is IoT and what are its advantages and disadvantages. Stay tuned. So yes, quick little informative type of video, just a very short video just explaining what IoT is. And if you don't know what IoT is, it stands for Internet of Things. Basically, this kind of a technology has been booming since the last two to three years, automating everything around us. The need to just go physically and operate or start a device, everything has been lessening and everything is now just being handled remotely. Mainly IoT means just taking all the physical components around us and connecting them to the Internet. Internet of Things. Prime examples of this would be the Google Home or the Amazon Echoes that we have at our houses nowadays. A lot of us do. They work through voice control so you just ask them to just turn on the lights, they will turn on the lights. You don't have to physically go and switch on the buttons nowadays. So yeah, this is what the prime example of IoT were and what IoT basically in short is. Also before we head to the pros and cons, let me just quickly remind you of the giveaway that we're doing. We're doing a big big giveaway. We're giving away 6 Raspberry Pis to 6 winners. The winner for the first place will get a Raspberry Pi 4 4GB, there will be 2 winners for the 2nd place and both of them will get a Raspberry Pi 0W and there will be 3 winners for the 3rd place and all 3 of them will be getting a Raspberry Pi Pico each. So yeah, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is just follow the link, it's the first link down in the description. Follow that link, complete a few quick steps and you have entered. The giveaway ends on the 4th of March so hurry up, enter the giveaway, have fun and all the best to all of you who are entering. Let's get back to IoT, what IoT is. Also, if you want to make a system like Google Home or something like that where you control all the fans and lights and appliances of your room via voice control, via Google Assistant, we have made an entire project explaining how to do this step by step. It's a proper tutorial. You can check the video out right here. You just need a smartphone, your lights, an ESP32 and that's it. Very simple project, very fun project to make. So just check that video out. Okay, let's come back to the pros and cons of IoT. What are the advantages? What are the few disadvantages everything like that in this video we're going to state three advantages and three disadvantages also if you want to know more about what the pros and cons of iot are we have written an entire blog the link to the blog is down description check it out get more information let's start with what the benefits of iot are the first benefit that it has is monitoring. The primary and main advantage of IoT is monitoring. You can monitor anything that you start from your bulbs to the air quality in your room. Also the precise quantity of supplies you have. For example, if you have a smart bulb, the app can let you know what time the bulb was switched on, what time it was switched off. It can also let you know that you are low on printer ink. Maybe you can go to the store, buy a few printer inks before you run out of them. It also helps in monitoring the expiration of products, so which improves safety in the long run. So yeah, monitoring is a big, big advantage that IoT gives us and the second advantage that it gives is accessibility. You can access information anywhere, anytime in real time. You can, you can be anywhere. All you need is an internet connection and you have information available to you in the palm of your hands. Also accessing your stuff remotely from your smartphone is also a big advantage nowadays. You can just switch on your AC maybe before you're coming home so that your room is nice and cold. The third advantage that IoT gives us is automation and control. Due to physical objects being connected and controlled using wireless technology, there is a huge amount of automation and control in the workings. Without human intervention, the machines are communicating with each other, leading to faster and timely outputs. Those were the few advantages that IoT has. Now let's come to the disadvantages. What are the minor inconveniences that IoT gives us? And the first thing is data breach. Since everything is now connected to the internet, all of our data is now available online. So a data breach is something that we have to be careful about. Maybe someone can come and just access all of our data. All of it is just online. Someone can breach it. So this is something that we have to be very careful about. The second disadvantage it has is dependence. IoT is mainly dependent on an internet connection. If you do not have an internet connection, you can't complete all those tasks or have all these advantages that IoT provides you with. So the reliance of IoT on internet is a disadvantage. And the third disadvantage it has is complexity. Though IoT seems Seems to be completing tasks with ease, a lot of complex operations are going on behind it. If the software makes a wrong calculation, this will affect the rest of the process. So yeah, complexity is a disadvantage because of the code and the amount of machines that are communicating with each other. If one communication just goes wrong, everything else is disturbed. Although IoT has a few disadvantages, the pros and the ease of living it provides us with overshadow the disadvantages.
just via my there are many projects that you can make on iot if you want us to make some let us know in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video just a little quick little informative video leave this video a like and also subscribe if you already haven't we're coming up with much more content like project videos tutorials informative type videos and even news so subscribe if you already haven't and enter the giveaway like the link is down description just check it out enter it have fun all the best to all of you guys who entered it and that has been it thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time